Hi, it's Liz from Little Homestead on the Hill, and if you want to know how I made these, just keep watching. simple so one of the things you're going to need is some type of citrus i have dried oranges and i have a real orange i have some pine needles right there i have some essential oil this is orange but you can use any smell flavor whatever you would like i have some vinegar some um alcohol and i have two mason jars just like that so the first thing you're going to want to do is grab your mason jars and you're going to want to grab some of these pines, pine branches like this and just drop them inside. Get this out of the way so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Is you're going to want to drop some of these pine needles inside your jars. I love making homemade products because I know what's going into them, if that makes sense. There's not chemicals in them. It's all pretty much organic. I'm like, I went to my neighbor's house and asked her if I could cut some pine needles down. She was like, sure. Why? <laughs> but sure, you know. They might think you're a little eccentric, but whatever. <laughs> but right now, I'm just going to fill these in. why do we use pine pine is a great cleaner so it's antibacterial it's just good properties behind it so the next thing I'm gonna do is grab some orange slices and I'm gonna cut or break them in half and just put those in like this because I want it the jar to be pretty because this has to soak for about a month or two and I'm gonna soak it in my sunroom in the sunshine but I want it to be aesthetically pretty too <laughs> Well, it's making it. And the next thing I need to do is I need to get the zest off this um, orange. So just use a zester. I got all the zest orange I'm going to cut it in half I'm just gonna put the orange through here and get all the juice out now the th next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour half of this into one jar and pour the other half in the other one just like that and then I'm gonna fill these jars with half of vinegar and half of alcohol or rubbing alcohol because I don't really like too much of the vinegar smell. So there's that. And then the rubbing alcohol. And then I just have some SVA Organics um, orange oil this is my favorite orange oil so we're gonna add quite a bit of this because I really want the smell and I want to break up that um, alcohol and the um, vinegar smell so I did three big dropfuls And then we're just going to put 
our covers on it. And I'm gonna gently give it a little shake. And there they are, aren't they cute? They're so pretty. It is cloudy, it's just going to get darker and darker and darker as it stands and the smell's gonna get better because you want it to get thicker, you want it to get stronger because that's what helps clean. So what you would do when you're all done with this is just strain it through a strainer and um, put it in a bottle and use it to clean your house. Just like one of those, hold on, on a bottle like this. Just, I got this at Walmart, I think it was like $1.50. I have Windex in it right now, but you could just, put it in a bottle like this, save a bottle, and use it for your counters and anywhere else like you like to clean with. Well, I hope you guys like this video. I will see you guys in my next. Bye.